renovating or reseeding a lawn, there's a lot of different strategies that can be done, but one that's probably underutilized, especially in the harsh environment that we live in, in the state of Nebraska and surrounding states, is what we call dormant seeding. Dormant seeding is seeding when the seed's not gonna come up, and you say, why would you plant when the seed's not gonna come up? What you do is the, you do what nature does. Think about what plants normally do. They produce their seed during the year, they drop it to the ground, it goes through a winter, and then it pops up the next year. It's what nature does, and dormant seeding can be a fairly effective way to, to renovate or to reseed, except you've gotta be very careful about what you do. With dormant seeding, a cool season grass, especially a cool season grass like turf type tall fescue, which it seems to be the most recommended cool season grass we plant in the state of Nebraska, you seed rather than seeding in the fall of the year, which is optimal, you seed after the fall of the year, which while not the most perfect time to seed, that seed is then goes through the winter, it starts to take advantage of those seasonal rains in the uh, spring, um, and then it germinates. So it's, it's an effective tool, but wait, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Number one, if you put the seed down too early in the fall when germination can still occur, but too late in the season when you don't have enough growing time for that seed to come up and prosper, then certainly that's gonna be a negative because that seed's gonna come up and die with a hard frost or cold temperatures, or even if it does come up and manages to survive into the winter, it will probably winter cool. So timing, for dormant seeding is when there's no possibility of germination, when soil temperatures are in the high 30s but not frozen. Another key thing for dormant seeding is you need to find a way to get it into the ground. So you want to slit seed or you want to open up with a core aerification device or something so that seed is physically in the ground, but the seed needs to be covered. Ideally it's covered by soil, so when you slit seed and the soil falls back on it, that's the optimal condition. But if not, consider top dressing over the top with a layer, thin layer of compost or using some sort of mulch, especially if there is no cover, there's no existing turf there to, to, to be a living mulch when the spring comes. So need to have the seed into the ground. You need to be sure that the seed is covered in some way. And you need to make sure it's in the ground after any put the possibility of germination. And finally, coming up into the spring, avoid the use of traditional crabgrass preventers like pendimethalin or prodiamine or most of the common ones. Use ones that are labeled for new seeding because you are gonna have a, probably a crabgrass problem like you would in an eating lawn, but you certainly don't wanna use a pre-emergent that could inhibit the germination of the seed that you put down so judiciously in late fall. Dormant seeding can work really well, especially for the turf type tall fescues, as long as you follow these key points.